<laughs> this is the giant machine that creates science. Does anybody read The Onion? Yes. You know what I'm talking about? One time they had an article on there that said, Giant machine creates science, and it was a sort of a sketch of the eater, the fusion research reactor they were building in Europe. But I thought I thought that was funny. Mm -hmm. um, this is neat in that it's very old and has survived all these years uh, relatively unharmed. Uh, it's an electrostatic generator. It's not unlike the uh, Wimshurst machines. This one's called the Tefler Holtz, and I've already admitted to somebody I don't know what the difference between the two is. It's the same thing, right? It takes scraping rubber shoes across the carpet, and then you go get the doorknob, all right? Well, we turn into a continuous process. You can run with a crank here instead. The purpose for this machine was as a power source for a medical, and I'm just retelling the story I was told, so it could be a total lie, but I'll tell it. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this was a medical source, or a, a power source for a medical x-ray machine. Sure, and I've seen old time pictures of these. Yeah, but that could have been from the same original lie. Probably from Pruitt or somebody. I, yeah, that was it, exactly. And I've seen pictures of uh, victims, I mean patients, sitting, <laughs> sitting around holding bare x-ray tubes. This is an old time x-ray tube, just holding them. You know, up against their chest, presumably to treat, you know, lung cancer or something like that. And then, you know, I don't, not clear if they had to turn the crank themselves, or, you know, or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody in that family. Help with liability a little bit. <laughs> hey, you turn the crank. Well, there was some mother in law. <laughs> and so, um, you know, what this does is we're collecting charges off these glass discs in here. Wow. And then these things, which are called lighting jars, are just capacitors, that's all. There's a metal foil inside, there's a metal foil outside and then the dielectric material in them to increase the capacitance is the glass in between. I really don't like being shocked. Brave man. Hey, uh, bravery and stupidity are often very, very <laughs> And so, wow. you know, if we were running the x-ray tube off of this, hook up to apart. these terminals in here. <laughs> And I guess the distance between the terminals could also be some sort of a rudimentary voltage regulator. Because yeah. yeah. <laughs> the farther apart these go, the higher the electric potential you need to have for the dielectric. But, you know, this was at a time, obviously, when you couldn't just plug into the wall to get electricity. And probably before there was a FDA. <laughs> yeah. And so, this one the time, <laughs> you know, electricity was good for everything. Oh yeah, we can hear Don. You're you're a brave. I mean, hey Don, step to one side, please. Have you ever yeah. been hit by that? <laughs> yeah, so it'll punch little holes through paper. We have to hold them up to the light. Yeah, you can see. Yeah. But you know, when this came out, you could use electricity to treat all kinds of ailments. You know, because. I bet you don't notice that arthritis so bad when you're getting electrocuted like crazy. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> electrocution means you're dead. Okay. Well, I would want to use this instead. <laughs> look at that probe. <laughs> yeah. Let's go look around. That's, that's the urologist, I think. <laughs> well, and then for psychiatric problems. <laughs> look at this. This one here. Um, so, you know, I don't know, but, you know, laugh if you want, but just within the last, well, I'm old now, probably 20 years, I was going to say 10 or 15, but probably 20 years, you used to sell these little deals, push button deals, and you put them on your arm, and it was for advertised for arthritis. And, oh, my old arthritis is acting up, and you just start popping these. Mm -hmm. Well, they were like the igniters off of gas grills. That's right. You just piece up piezo piezo electric crystal in there, and it just snapped this thing and makes sparks. Well, I bet you didn't notice the arthritis too bad when you were being <laughs> electrocuted. Is that okay? <laughs> they don't hurt that bad. Yeah. Sorry, my husband's alive. Well, it just depends how bad your arthritis is, do If you need some here, but I wouldn't recommend anybody really um, to get a hold of this thing. And it will, uh, you know, these capacitors have a pretty low leak. This thing will stay charged. It makes my ears ring. Uh, they'll stay charged for quite a long time. We have an agreement in the department. Remember, Eric, the agreement. We don't leave it charged. Because uh, the next person might come in here waving their hands around and, you know, get, get it. So, here, I'll do that. And that. And hopefully safe. Got a little thing over here about the electrical age that tells you all the things you listen to treat. Can't even 
didn't see it. I need bifocals. Uh, gout, headache apparently. Uh, yeah, um, headache. Yeah. 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 Headache. Writer's cramp. <laughs> right. Right. It's something called care. brain fag. <laughs> <laughs> that might be that one probe. <laughs> well, anyway, that's the show, at least that I can give you. So, um, you know, let me end by thanking you again for coming and staying with us for three weeks and living and learning here for a while. Go out and do great things and send me your good students.